Now over the past two and a half years, I've been working as an engineer at Heathrow Airport and there has been something that has completely shocked me. You see, when I was studying to become an engineer, I was getting taught maths, physics, physics, maths, thermodynamics, aerodynamics, and just literally the list went on of these massively technical skills, all right? And we were getting focused so much on that. And then you get to the real world and you see a completely different universe. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the difference between the real world and about what you get taught in university and hopefully give you some tips so that while you're in university, you can actually start preparing yourself for the real world because they are very, very different and nobody actually tells you this stuff in university. My name is Mohammed Tahir and I'm an aerospace engineering graduate working at Heathrow Airport. On this channel, we explore ideas that can help you make more informed decisions and more positive decisions that will allow you to achieve the success that you want. And hopefully I can inspire you along the way. Now, when you're studying engineering at university, they teach you how to make your mind like a problem solving machine. You get taught maths and physics and aerodynamics and thermodynamics and all these really complicated things that will help you begin to understand the world around you. But not only understand the world around you, but then also how to solve problems within that understanding. Then you graduate, woohoo, throw your hat in the air, you get a job. And now you're in the workplace. All of a sudden you look around and you see all these things that you should solve problems within and you do. You go and you learn and you understand how things work and then you figure out what the problem is and then you go and solve that problem and then you have this amazing, amazing idea in your head about how you're going to solve this problem. Then what? Then you need to actually go up to your manager, go to your team and start to speak this idea into reality. You have to start articulating the things that are in your head. The way in which you say this idea to the people around you will literally determine whether they accept this idea or reject this idea. It doesn't matter how good your idea is, the way in which you say it will determine whether or not it will be accepted by these people or not. So now if we zoom out and we want to look at how good an engineer is, it's not just about how good they are at solving the problem. All of a sudden, in the real world, you start to realize that actually what is almost as important as how well, how good they are at solving the problem is, is also how well do they communicate that solution or that idea to the people around them. Most engineers are very smart up here, but there's a we the weakest link. The weakest link is their communication skills. It's their ability to turn the idea and transmit it through their tongue into words, into articulate sentences, which will be heard by the people around them and resonate with the idea. That is influence. That is your ability to influence the people around you. And unfortunately, engineers at university never get taught that. They never get taught that there will be a point where it's not just you. There will be a whole team which you have to connect to. And now that I've been in industry and I've seen what it's like to be an engineer in industry, most of my day is spent talking to people, understanding things from people. It's not spent there just doing calculations on a piece of page, uh, on a piece of page, on a page like I was in, in university, but actually it's sit, sitting there connecting with people, understanding from people, articulating my ideas to people. In the world of work, it's not just things you have people, you have thousands of people who you're going to have to interact with and communicate with. And the fact is that your ability to communicate with people is a determining factor of your success. This presents an opportunity. What if you start to invest in how you articulate yourself? Now, not only are you going to have good ideas, but if you learn how human beings work, if you learn how the human mind works and how people listening to you are going to react to the words that you're going to use, you can start to engineer the way you say things so that you can have the maximum impact. If you're going to engineer an idea to have a maximum impact, you also need to engineer how you say this idea to the people that are listening so that it can also have the maximum impact and that it can be actioned. See, this is what they don't teach you in engineering. They don't, you don't realize, or at least I didn't realize, that actually in the real world, what's more important than the idea is that human engineering bit. How are you going to articulate yourself? How are you going to connect with those people that you work with so that when they hear your idea, they actually resonate with it and they actually want to run with it. This 
is where I want to urge students in universities to not only invest in their maths and their physics and their understanding of the world, but also start to understand how human beings work. Start to understand when a human being is listening to you, what is it that they care about and how is it that now knowing that I can go back, reword what I'm about to say in a way which when they hear it, they're gonna get excited and want to take action. If more engineers start focusing on the human element within the workplace, then we're gonna have a much, much, much more impactful workforce in the future. This concept I actually learnt from a book and this book is called How to Win Friends and Influence People. This book completely changed my life and is the reason why I got a job at Heathrow Airport. This book will teach you how to engineer your interactions with human beings to be able to have the most impact. I would highly, highly recommend this book. I'm gonna put a link in the bio to Amazon where you can go and buy it. It's probably not even gonna be an affiliate link. I just want you to go and buy this book and consume it because it will completely change the way you approach work life as well as your personal life. I hope you were able to gain an interesting perspective about what I think it takes to succeed within the world of engineering. If you are an engineer right now, if you're studying to become an engineer, then please, 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 I urge you, if you really want to be successful, it's not just about the technical stuff because no matter how technically good you are, you're going to be working with human beings and you need to learn how to interact with those human beings to have the most impactful journey and career that you possibly can. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're able to benefit from it. If you want to learn more about Heathrow Airport and the behind the scenes, I'm going to leave another video up here about the engineering graduate program and I hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye.